Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to differentiate between mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events. After that, we will learn to verify the formula of probability of combined event for mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events. Two events A and B are mutually exclusive if the two events will not happen at the same time. For example, the set of outcomes of a single coin toss, which can result head or tail, but not both. Set A intersect set B equals empty set. From the Venn diagram, you can see set a not intersect set B. Probability event A intersect event B equals zero. Probability event A union event B equals probability event A plus probability event B. Two events A and B are non mutually exclusive if the two events happen at the same time. For example, rolling a dice, the event of getting an odd number and event of getting a prime number can happen at the same time. Set A intersect set B not equals empty set means set A intersect set B. Probability event A intersect event B not equals zero. Probability event A union event B equals probability event A plus probability event B minus probability event A intersect event B. Example 1. A failed dice is rolled. A list of events is given as follows. A is the event of getting an even number. B is the event of getting a perfect square. C is the event of getting an odd number. Determine whether the following pairs of events are mutually exclusive events or no mutually exclusive events. A, A and B. So we list out the element of set A. Set A is event getting an even number. So we have 2, 4 and 6. B is event of getting a perfect square. So we have 1 and 4. After we list out the element of set A and set B, now we check set A and set B have same element or not. The common element of set A and B is 4. A intersect B equals 4. Conclusion, event A and event B are non-mutually exclusive events. B, B and C. Again, we list out the element of set B and element of set C. After this, we will check whether set B intersect set C or not. Set B and C have common element. B intersect C equals 1. Conclusion, event B and C are non-mutually exclusive event also. C, A and C. So we list out the element of set A and element of set C. And we found that set A intersect set C equals empty set. Conclusion is event A and C are mutually exclusive events. Now let us learn verify the formula of probability of combined events for mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events. Example 2. The Venn diagram on the right shows the relationship between the universal set A, B, and C. 
a number is chosen at random from the universal set. Verify the addition rule of probability for each of the following combined events, obtaining an even number or a multiple of 7. Obtaining an even number is the order number in set C as even number. And we have multiple of 7 in set B. From the diagram, we know that B and set B and set C is mutually exclusive. Means not uh, means set B not intersect set C. Probability event B union C equals number of event B union C over number of sample space. So from here, we can obtain how many elements in event B and C? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 7 over 30. By using formula probability event B plus probability event C. Probability event B, we have 1 element over 30. So 1 over 30 plus in event in set C, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 elements, so 6 over 13 equals 7 over 13. Hence, it is proven that probability event A union B equals probability A plus probability B. Probability event A union C. Element in set A and C, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So equals 11 over total is 13. Because this is non mutually exclusive event, so we use probability event A plus probability event C minus probability event A intersect C. So equals Probability event A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 over 13 plus probability event C is here. We have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 also. So 6 over 13 minus intercept A and C is here. So 1 element. So 1 over 13 equals 11 over 13. Hence, it is proven that probability A union C equals probability A plus probability C minus probability event A intersect event C. Example 3. 9 cards labeled with the numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13 are put in a box. A card is chosen at random from the box. A is the event of getting a number greater than 9. B is the event of getting a prime number. C is the event of getting an even number. Verify the addition rule of probability for each of the following combined events by listing all the possible outcomes. A. Probability. Event A or B. A is event of getting a number greater than 9. So we have 10, 12, 13. B is event of getting a prime number. So based on here, we have 5, 7, and 13. The common element of A and B is 13. So A intersect B equals 13. A and B is known as non-mutually exclusive event. When we use, when we want to verify the addition rule of probability for non-mutually 
exclusive event, we will use this formula. Probability event A plus probability event B minus probability event A intersect event B. Probability event A is 3 over 9. Probability event B, here we have 3, so 3 over 9 also. Minus probability event A intersect event B equals 1 here, so 1 over 9 equals 5 over 9. Set A union B means A combined with B. So normally we write in ascending order 5, 7, 10, 12, 13 we only write one time. So probability A union B equals 5 over 9. From here, you can see probability A plus probability B minus probability A intersect B equals probability A union B. Hence, it is proven that probability A plus probability B minus probability A intersect B equals probability A union B. B, probability B or C. So first, we list out the set B and C. B equals 5, 7, 13. C is the event of getting an even number. So we have 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. There is no intersection between event B and C. So B intersect C equals empty set. When there is no intersection between event B and C, event B and C is known as a mutually exclusive event. For mutually exclusive event, we use this formula probability B plus probability C. Probability B is 5 over 9 plus probability C is 5 over 9 equals at over 9. Define also B union C. So B union C, B combined with C, we write in ascending order 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13. So total how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So probability B union C equals at over 9. Here you can see for mutually exclusive event, probability B plus probability C equals probability B union C. Hence, it is proven that probability B plus probability C equals probability B union C. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.